Hello, good afternoon, welcome to the latest Coffee Break Catch-Up. I'm Mark, your Coffee Break host, and I'm delighted to be back with a live catch-up. So it's great to know that we've got lots of you tuning in from all over the world today. Um, and do let us know in the comments where you're watching and indeed which language you're learning. Now this catch-up, like all our catch-ups, is all about helping you keep up to date with what's happening on the Coffee Break Languages channel on YouTube, also uh, with our podcasts of course, and we're going to be updating you in a number of things today. So let me just check that everything is working, you should be able to see the slides, so coming up we've got some Coffee Break news, we've got a sneak preview of a special item coming from Coffee Break Italian and of course our cultural roundup to let you know what's happening over the coming days and weeks in terms of culture from the various countries where the language that you're learning is spoken. Now it's great to know that we have lots of you tuning in today. I can see uh, a few people here. We've got Black Cat saying salve from New York City. I hope the sun is shining this morning in New York. It's actually, I'm almost scared to say this, but it feels a little bit like springtime today here in Scotland. The lights, the, the nights are getting a little bit lighter and I don't know, there's definitely a, an air of spring in the air. So hopefully that will continue. I think we're in for a storm this weekend. But anyway, um, Bob Ice is saying at work, so can't watch just now. Uh, hopefully we'll watch the replay. Yep, we will, of course, have this all available. I'm just trying to resize this, but it's not going very well. Oops. <laughs> uh, let me see if we can get rid of that. Okay, Hannah Tungstad is saying hola. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, Celeste is saying imparo italiano. Perfetto. Um, Sophie saying hola. Nice saying salut. We've got Philippe saying bonjour tout le monde. Steve is joining us from Nottingham and he is studying uh, Spanish. We've got Nice saying je viens de Kurdistan. Fantastic. Wow. So certainly we're, we're reaching different parts of the world today. Um, Christina is from Egypt and is learning Spanish. Brilliant. We've got uh, Ohio joining us uh, with Suzanne. Atika joining us from India. Uh, Sophie is joining us from Belgium. Alex is from Puerto Rico. This is wonderful. Great to see you all. Judy from Nova Scotia. Kyle from Queens. Uh, Marilyn is saying hola Mark and fellow language learners. And uh, somebody joining us from stormy Atlanta, Georgia. I hope, uh, Georgia. I hope the storm abates. Uh, Charlotte is joining us from... Den oh, it's all coming in now very quickly. <laughs> Charlotte joining us from Denmark. Um, Kim oh, Chow uh, is from Vietnam. Uh, we've got, uh, let me see, Vivo in Cyprus. So Kim is in Cyprus and is learning Italian. Um, lots and lots of you saying hello. Thank you so much. We are delighted uh, to have you all here. Now, as I said, today is about a catch-up. It's about telling you what's the latest uh, from, from Coffee Break. I see a number of you are asking questions about when's the updates coming for a particular uh, show. And hopefully today we'll be able to share that with you. But to begin with, let us go straight into our news, our latest news from uh, Coffee Break Languages. And we'll be looking at some of our latest podcast episodes and our latest videos. So here is the news. So to begin with, let us go straight back to our slides here and see if I can bring in our latest news. So, of course, we have been continuing to publish our Coffee Break German episodes of the German magazine. And until recently, we were working through season one of the magazine. And in particular, we had a, a, a fantastic episode all about the German composer Richard Strauss. And that was followed by the final episode in Coffee Break German when we were talking about Berlin's berühmteste Straße, so the most famous street in Berlin, according to the, the, the text that we read. So if you want to find out more about that and which is the most famous street in Berlin, then you can head over to the Coffee Break German site. You'll, of course, find all our podcasts on uh, Apple Podcasts, on Spotify, on Google Podcasts, Pretty much anywhere you get your podcasts, you'll be able to get the episodes of the Coffee Break German magazine and, of course, our other podcasts. Now, Coffee Break German magazine is on a pause now for uh, a little while while we work on some other material and we'll be back later in the year with new German content. But we are continuing at the moment to publish our Coffee Break Spanish magazine. And we have recently published uh, an episode on Salsa, which was episode four of season three, A Bailar. 
And then we also have published a very interesting article on El Canal de Panama. So traveling all the way over to Panama and looking at the history and the, the origins and indeed some interesting aspects of the Panama Canal. So that is season three, episode five of the Coffee Break Spanish podcast. And we'll be continuing with season three with episode six. And that's coming out on the 21st of February. So there's a little break uh, after season three, episode five, basically because we're still catching up with some recordings here. And that is going to be coming out very soon. So the 21st of February, you can look forward to the next episode of the Coffee Break Spanish magazine. Okay, so that is our content for uh, German and Spanish. But I noticed uh, we've got Holly here joining us. And Holly mentioned that she's from Indianapolis and she's learning German and Swedish. So Holly is, like many of our learners, taking part in our Coffee Break Swedish course, which has just launched. So if I bring up my slides again and we'll be able to see these. So Coffee Break Swedish has launched and a couple of weeks ago we... Uh, published episode one, in which we were asking the question, Hur mår du? which means, how are you? And then just uh, yesterday or the day before, we published episode two, asking the question, vad heter du? So, what is your name? Now, in Swedish, well, in, in Spanish, in French, in Italian, I'm normally the teacher, working with a native speaker, of course, but in Swedish, I'm the learner. So I am really enjoying learning Swedish along with you, our listeners. And uh, we hope that you are enjoying learning Swedish too. So learning Swedish, Coffee Day Week Swedish is going out every two weeks. Um, and you can enjoy that again on the, any podcast app or on our website. Now, just to mention also on the website, we also publish the full course version of Coffee Break Swedish, which includes the lesson notes, and you can access all the written material there, and also bonus audio and video materials. So the video materials let you see the words and phrases on the screen of your device. So you'll see here an example conversation that you're listening to. So you're listening to that, and as you're listening, you're seeing on the screen of your device the words and phrases. So the course for Coffee Break Swedish is available, like all our courses, in the Coffee Break Academy. And you can find that at coffeebreakacademy.com. So do check out our Coffee Break Swedish materials. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, we are up to our next topic here, and that is on to our video materials, because we're continuing to publish new video content. Sometimes we get emails to say, I didn't know you had a YouTube channel or I didn't know that you published videos as well as the podcasts. And it's really, really useful to note that we do indeed publish a lot of video content over on YouTube. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, then here on YouTube. And this week we've published two new episodes of our uh, To Go series. We're currently working through Coffee Break Italian To Go season one. And the question we're asking this week is Quale lingue parli? Which languages do you speak? And indeed, we also published our latest French version of that too. So uh, in this case, we're asking the, qu the question, Quelle langue parlez-vous? Which languages do you speak? So if you'd like to see our interviewees answer these questions and practice your language and your understanding and also develop your own responses for these, then make sure you check out the Coffee Break To Go series. Now, we've got lots of plans of to go. Um, indeed, we've already done one season of German, one season of Spanish. Um, we've got our French and Italian season ones going out just now. And I can tell you we've got lots more content filmed and all of that content will be out, uh, we'll be publishing that this year. So you can look forward to new German, Spanish and then French and Italian content again with our Coffee Break To Go series. It's a fantastic way to practice the language that you're learning by listening to native speakers. Of course, you'll hear different accents, different speeds of delivery and also help you prepare your answers to these types of questions. So which languages do you speak? In, in season two, the, the questions get a little more complex and we're asking questions like, uh, what kind of things do you do at the weekend? And some people answer that very simply by saying, I go swimming. But other people don't make it quite as easy for us. They might say, well, normally at the weekend I go swimming, but the thing is, at the moment I've got a sore leg, so I can't go swimming. So instead what I do is draw because I've always loved drawing. And you can see here that the different types of answers that we get allow us to develop our own listening and it gives you the chance to build your own language skills through To Go. So make sure you check out To Go on the YouTube channel. 
Okay, let us move on and see what other content we've been publishing because we've also published a, a very interesting video recently. I'm not sure if you caught this on our YouTube channel. This was a wee bit of Burns. Now, you may or may not know that Robert Burns, uh, the, the National Poet of Scotland, uh, we recently celebrated his uh, special day. And on Burns Day or Burns Night, we very often in, in Scotland and, and other places around the world where uh, Burns is appreciated, uh, we have Burns Suppers. So instead of having a Burns Supper this year, what we did was help Pierre Benoit learn some Scots words. And indeed, by the end of the video, Pierre Benoit was able to read the, the well the first verse of uh, To a Mouse, one of Burns' poems. Um, so if you would like the chance to, to see a Frenchman learning a little bit of Scots, then make sure you check out a wee bit of Burns over on our YouTube channel. Now, we also have got con ongoing content on the website in the form of blog articles. And at the moment, we are publishing our Meet the Coffee Breakers series. So every two weeks, we publish a different story about one of our coffee breakers. And the coffee breakers are people like yourselves. So if you are learning a language, then you are a coffee breaker. If you're learning a language with us, then you're a coffee breaker. So if you would like to find out more about the other people who are learning, then you can check out our Meet the Coffee Breakers series. We also... I'm just double checking that my mic is working. Yeah, the mic is working, okay. We also publish a series on the website called uh, Meet the Team. So we've recently published a, our Meet the Team article for Susie, one of our French colleagues. So you can check that out also on the website. And we'll be continuing to publish new content on the, the website in the form of blog articles, our Meet the Coffee Breakers, our Meet the Team. And also coming up quite soon is the Coffee Break Conversations series. And that is where we're getting more in depth with our coffee breakers and other people who use languages on a regular basis. So there will be more information about that coming soon. It's time now to talk about some of our new content, new content that's not yet released. And I know that many of you are waiting for this and you're very excited about the, the forthcoming content. So let me turn to, first of all, uh, let's bring this up here, our new French course, La Vérité se saura. Now, La Vérité se saura is a, a new course. Many of you have been asking, when's Coffee Break French 5 coming? Well, Coffee Break French 5 is taking this new form. It's basically a new course, a new advanced course, and we're not calling it Coffee Break French Season 5, we're calling it La Vérité se saura. It's a little bit different from our other courses, and that's why we're changing the, the, the style. And the reason it's a little bit different is because it's all based around a very complex French novel, basically. So the idea is that you're following a story over the course of uh, the chapters of the novel. Now, there are 40 chapters, 40 lessons, and uh, there are lots of amazing French, uh, amazing expressions, amazing levels of grammar and, and idiomas, idiomatic expressions and so on in this course and we think you're going to love it. If if you've already completed Coffee Break French season four and you're ready for the next challenge, then uh, La Vérité se so uh, I've just realised. La Vérité se so This is the wrong graphic. It's not called La Vérité se so sera at all. <laughs> that was one of our earlier uh, earlier titles. The, the correct name is La Vérité éclate toujours. I do apologise. I'm going to get into trouble from the rest of the team here now when I, when I realise that I've put up the wrong graphic here. Um, the correct name is La Vérité éclate toujours. Éclater is the verb to burst. And the truth, La Vérité, bursts always... And that's the way you say in French, the truth will out. So the truth will indeed out. And the truth about my mistake will out as well because the team's watching this. So apologies, sorry. Okay, so let's move on to talk a little bit about this. Take that off the screen. And I've still got the wrong graphic there. I do apologise. Um, but it is La Vérité éclate toujours. And the preview episode is going out on the 10th of February. And the series begins on the 24th of February. Now, there's a couple of th important things that we need to say here. First of all, if you are currently subscribed to the Coffee Break French podcast feed, you'll not be hearing 
the Coffee Break French, the, the La Vérité Éclat Toujours episodes on that feed. And the reason for that is because these are really advanced episodes and we don't want someone coming to the Coffee Break French uh, podcast feed, finding it, oh, I like the look of this, subscribe, and then all of a sudden all the episodes are really, really advanced because lots of people who come to Coffee Break French will be starting at the beginning or perhaps at an intermediate level. This course is really, really advanced. It's C1+, plus, so if that helps you identify where it is, um, the Coffee Break French, or the La Vérité Éclat Toujours, is definitely more advanced than the, the previous content that we've made. So that's why we're putting it in its own separate feed. That means if you want to listen to La Vérité Éclat Toujours, then you will need to subscribe to that new podcast feed. Of course, that will be free. All podcast feeds will be free. And there you'll be able to find the lessons of La Vérité Éclat Toujours. So there will be a free podcast that will be a different feed. You'll be able to access that different feed. We'll be putting links on the, the website and everything and letting you subscribe to that particular feed. So you just use your podcast app to find that new feed, La Vérité Éclat Toujours. Indeed, if you look for Coffee Break French, it will be La Vérité Éclat Toujours from Coffee Break French. So you'll find it easily and you can look for the, the those graphics, although hopefully they'll have the right words on them. So that's La Vérité Éclat Toujours. We also will be offering a full online course and that will have written content. There are annotated transcripts. So the, the transcripts of the, 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 the chapters, if you like, so the chapters that you're following, will have a huge amount of uh, explanation and uh, detail which will help you get into the language in, in a much deeper level. We're also going to be offering our language study audio. So if you were listening to Coffee Break French Season 4, then normally what we would do was provide the language study audio and that would be maybe 30 minutes based on the short text. Now obviously now our texts are much longer because they're a full chapter of a book and so the full chapter will take more language study episodes. So for each chapter there will be three or four language study episodes and in addition to that we also provide what we're calling the Atelier Linguistique and that will be something that goes out every second week after the episode. So La Vérité Éclat Toujours will be published fortnightly, every two weeks. And in the in-between weeks, for the online course version, there will be the Atelier Linguistique, which helps you take the language in the main episodes that bit further. Now, I'll be explaining more of this when we do launch the course and uh, the first episodes, as I said, will be going out uh, on the 17th of February. Or Actually, let me just take that back and see if, the, if I'm getting those dates correct. The preview episode is going out on the 10th of February and that is when the pre-sales the pre -sales will start for the online course as well and the series will begin on the 24th. So that is La Vérité éclate toujours. Uh, not La Vérité ce sera. <laughs> okay, moving on. There is something else that we want to announce today, uh, a new course that you know about if you've been following what we've been talking about over the past few months, but we're really excited to be announcing the dates for our brand new English course. And this is a course for Spanish speakers to learn English. Basically, we've gone way back to the beginning and did what we did 13 years ago with Coffee Break Spanish and swapped it around. So this time we've got our learner, Maria, who is learning to speak English along with her teacher, Mark. But it's all done in Spanish, and we are explaining everything in Spanish for Maria to learn in English. Now, let me see if I have got the right thing here. Let me bring this up. Yep, yeah, so the preview episode goes out on the 25th of February, and the series begins on the 3rd of March. And Coffee Break English in Español will be published every week. Now, a couple of things. First of all, perhaps you are not someone who needs to learn English. The chances are, if you're listening to me speaking, then you don't necessarily need to learn English. Pero, si hablas español y si quieres aprender inglés, pues conmigo puedes aprender inglés con Coffee Break English. You can learn English along with me, and if you're learning Spanish, you may find it quite interesting to listen to, because there's lots and lots of Spanish in a very familiar format, and we'll be teaching English in these lessons. So you may well be uh, interested in, in checking that out. That is uh, Coffee Break English coming on the 25th of February and the series begins on the 3rd of March. Okay. 
there's something else that I'd like to share with you today. And that is a sneak preview because we have been working on a very special video. And this video is a video with someone on the team and a special... Well, do you know what? I'm going to let you see a little clip of the video and I think you will get a feel for what we're talking about. This video is coming very soon and let me show you a little clip. Buongiorno a tutti e benvenuti a Coffee Break Italian. Io sono Mark. Ciao a tutti, io sono Francesca. Oggi abbiamo qualcosa di speciale, something special for you today on this uh, video episode of Coffee Break Italian. So this means that we are going uh, somewhere special today. We are actually going to Francesca's village, sì. che si chiama Pettinengo. Si chiama Pettinengo, sì. Allora, sì, è tutto dal, dal parco di Pettinengo e eh, vuoi salutare i miei ascoltatori? Sì, certo. Ciao a tutti, continuate a seguire Coffee Break Italian con Francesca. So, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, you'll be able to watch the full version of that video. And it's an absolutely lovely video. We loved making that. It was a, a pleasure being invited to Francesca's house and meeting her family. And uh, all of them appear in the video. So you'll be getting to know Francesca's mum and dad, her brother, her dog. And you'll love the dog's name. And also her uncle. So we had a lovely day travelling around Petinengo in the... the, the Italian region of Piemonte um, and as of tomorrow you'll be able to watch that video now if you're an Italian learner there's lots and lots of Italian in this video and we are providing subtitles in Italian and in English so if you just want to follow on you can obviously use the subtitles in English to follow what's happening but we think you're going to love that video and we are really excited about putting that out as of tomorrow okay I'm looking at my list here to see what else uh, we've got to do I think that's it for all the news. I think what we need to do is move over to our cultural information. Now, I realise we've got lots of questions and I will be as answering all those questions as soon as we've got our cultural uh, update uh, finished. So let's have a look at our cultural information. So coming back... Here, we've got Benvenuti in Piemonte, that's coming tomorrow, as I, as I said. And our cultural information, we are focusing on four different things here. As uh, ever, we've got a, a, a French uh, piece of culture happening in Montpellier, and that is the Open Sud de France, so a tennis tournament happening already at the moment this week. Um, obviously, it's around about the time of carnival all over the world um, and in, uh, we've chosen to, to focus on a, a, a town in, in the, the west of Italy called Viareggio and in uh, Viareggio the carnival takes on a, an interesting uh, form and you can read about that in our article which I'll tell you about in just a moment. There is also carnival happening in various parts of the Spanish-speaking world and we've focused on Las Palmas de Gran Canaria and that's also a, a place, a topic that's coming up in one of our future Coffee Break Spanish magazine articles. So you can look forward to that too. So the Carnaval, the Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, that's happening uh, again. It starts tomorrow, the 7th, and running until the 1st of March. And then the other event that we decided to focus on this week was an event happening in Dresden on the 7th of February tomorrow. And it's the Semper Open Ball, which is one of the biggest balls in uh, the whole of, of the German-speaking world. So definitely something interesting there. Now, as ever, all of these are, there, there's more information about all of these in our catch-up newsletter. And if you're not yet subscribed to the catch-up newsletter, make sure you do so, because we send out a, a newsletter every Friday, even when there's not a catch-up video. 
and the Catch Up newsletter lets you find out a little more about what we're sharing. So first of all, it will have the links to all of our podcast episodes and so on. And it will also have links to these different articles that we're talking about in both the language and in English. So the Carnival of, of Las Palmas will be an article in Spanish plus an article in English. So if you'd like to find out more about all of this, head over to radiolingua.com slash newsletter. You can find out more about all of these there. So that is our cultural news for this week. Let me bring back this camera. Okay. And I see we've got quite a number of uh, questions. I'll start with Helen here, who's pointing out that Montpellier has got two L's. Yeah, I did that pretty quickly, about 20 past three. So I apologise for that. <laughs> so let's go back and look at some of our questions. Uh, so I'm just going through... Okay, so we've got Madeline saying, I'm enjoying CBS Mag season three. My ear is beginning to catch up and keep up. That's great to know. Thank you for, for that comment, Madeline. Um, we've got Ernie from Albuquerque, who is loving the Italian podcast. Brilliant. Helen is saying that she's back in sunny Derbyshire after 17 years in France. Looking forward to keeping my French up to scratch with your great full coffee break French courses. And Cathy's thrilled to hear about the Swedish course. Well, Cathy, you know where to find it. Coffeebreakswedish.com. You can find it there. Um, Holly's already saying that Coffee Break Swedish has been very helpful already. Hearing a native speaker helps so much with pronunciation and those little subtleties. And one of the things uh, about about Swedish is that it looks relatively straightforward to, to read, but sometimes there are a couple of letters that are really quite tricky. We've been looking at the SJ combination, and in the bonus materials for lessons one and two, we learned this fantastic tongue twister. I wonder if I can see it. Uh, who 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 can who men who this of who under who na who who the score po who put who high? I've been practicing, so you can learn that along with lots more on Coffee Break Swedish. Um, okay, so uh, who else do we have? Um, so Narcisa is saying I speak English and Spanish, trying to learn German. Um, oh, Malin is joining us from Sweden. I hope I didn't make a mess of that. <laughs> Tongue twister, Malin. Helsinga from Sverige. Thanks so much. Uh, Natsuki is saying, I love the Slovak lessons. Thank you, and I wish there were more. So Natsus Natsuki is, is pointing out our uh, One Minute Languages lessons, and all of the One Minute Languages courses you can find here on our YouTube channel. Um, just search for One Minute Languages, or they're linked to from our channel. And we have lang language courses which are one minute, um, although they're normally about two or three minutes, but you know, there's about one minute of learning in there. And there are 10 lessons in each course, and we have courses from Arabic to Zulu, so with 31 different languages, so do check that out. Um, Malin is saying she loved the Scots and Burns section, session. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Elizabeth is saying, Ich wohne in Berlin und lerne Deutsch. Sehr gut, danke schön. Um, uh, so David is saying, oh, David, is saying, soy de Honduras y me encanta tu programa, eres genial y tu acento español es perfecto. Quiero aprender muchos idiomas así como tú. <laughs> Muchísimas gracias, David. Thank you very much indeed. Um, so what else? Uh, da, da, da. So Marlon's asking a question. Is there anything like CBF 5 season 5, sorry, CBF season 5, La Verité, for Spanish learners? Did I miss that? No, you've not, Marlon. If you're listening to Coffee Break Spanish season 4, if you've listened to that already, that is our most advanced course at the moment. Um, because, we, well, we, we basically finished season 4 French before season 4 Spanish, so we moved on first with French. But obviously with the Coffee Break Spanish magazine, you can certainly listen to that, and there's lots of new content coming uh, in the magazine but hopefully at some point in the future we will be able to start something similar in Spanish um, along the lines of La Verité Éclat Toujours Okay, um, Marie is asking next Coffee Break Italian well we are busy working on new content for Coffee Break Italian at the moment I know that Francesca has been very busy writing new content and that will be coming soon, um, you can look forward to that uh, a little later in the year um, Malin is saying, as a librarian and language nerd, 
I love the idea of a Coffee Break literature class. I hope it comes to Coffee Break Italian eventually as well. Well, yes, we will definitely be adding something along those lines uh, much later on in, in Italian. Obviously, we are a little bit further behind in Italian. Um, but without saying too much, I think you can look forward to something with a little bit of a literature basis um, coming in the not too distant future, Malin. I hope that makes sense. Um, Susanna is saying learning French again. My daughter's in a bilingual class. Well, it will make a, a perfect opportunity for you to, to learn French and, and pick up some French and use that French with your daughter. And your daughter may also be interested in our Hi-Fi French program. So you'll be able to find some of that on our YouTube channel, but also at HiFiFrench.com. Uh, so that should give you a little more for that. Charity saying... Uh, she can't wait for the, the video. Ernie is saying, yes, more Italian. Um, Black Cat Play Pompey is saying, will the video be on YouTube? Yes, the video will go live on YouTube. In fact, um, I'm just trying to work out. No, we won't be putting it up uh, before the event, but it will go live uh, tomorrow around this time. Alexander is saying, I love your Spanish podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Susan is in Preston and say, mi piace molto Coffee Break Italian, grazie. Uh, Malin, ma che bello, non vedo l'ora di guardare i vini dal villaggio da Francesca e quest'estate sarò nel vicino di Petinengo, forse potrò visitare. <laughs> oh, Malin, Malin is going to be near Petinengo, which is the little village in, in Italy where Francesca is from. Alexander is uh, saying he's looking forward to the fifth French course. He needs a kick over the threshold into street French. Uh, there will be a little bit of street French in here. There's also lots of literary French because there we're looking at this kind of, of higher level language where you would pick up, in a, if, if you picked a novel off the shelf um, and started reading that novel, that's the kind of French you'll be getting in this course too. Okay. Um, do, do, do. What else do we have? So Rebecca is saying, Hallo, ich komme aus Irland. Aber ich wohne in Glasgow. Ach, schön. Mein Mann kommt aus München, so I'm trying to learn. Thanks so much for Coffee Break German. Rebecca, thank you to, to you. Thanks you for the comment. And we hope you continue to, to learn German and that it's useful to, to be able to practice that in Munich, a beautiful place. Uh, Lisa is saying, looking forward to Coffee Break Italian. You and Francesca are wonderful. Well, Francesca, I hope you're watching and you're seeing that. Um, thank you for that. Ernie is saying, where's Katie? Katie was our learner in season one of Coffee Break Italian. Um, she's not coming back. She works somewhere else now. So um, we, we wish her all the very best. Um, Helena's asking, have you got the problem with peeling, people trying to steal your content sorted? That is the app situation. Um, we did have a, an app problem. From time to time, it still crops up, but we try to, to act upon it very quickly. Matthew is saying, I've learned so much from you. Thank you very much, Matthew. Um, uh, Julie, are you doing more Coffee Break Italian podcasts? Well, I've already mentioned that. Um, uh, we will have more Italian content later. Victoria is saying, learning Italian. My partner is from Biella in Piemonte. <laughs> so looking forward to the video. Well, Victoria, if you've been to Biella, um, you may well recognize some of these locations. Okay. And Terry is saying, bonjour, Marc. I enjoy Coffee Break French from Los Angeles. Delighted to hear that. Okay. Uh, one more thing I need to mention, and that is that uh, tomorrow, on Fridays, we're starting something new on our Instagram channel. Um, so make sure you follow us on Instagram. We've got something new coming tomorrow. It's just a new way of looking at a particular aspect of language. And it will be uh, for uh, French, German, Spanish, Italian, English and Swedish. So you can look forward to that tomorrow. I... Oh, there's one more question coming in here that I think we've got time to answer. Joyce is saying, I enjoy CBS very much. How many languages do you know and what are your hints to learning new languages quickly? The key word there, I think, Joyce, is quickly. And unfortunately, I don't think there is a quick way to learn a language. You can certainly get to a level of being able to use the language relatively quickly with one caveat, and that is if you're not too bothered about making mistakes. If you get so hung up on making mistakes that you don't want to speak or you don't want to try using the language, then that will slow you down. But if you don't worry too much about making mistakes, then you can just go for it. Now, I'm saying this, and I have to say I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I I quite like not to make mistakes, um, but I know I do make mistakes like everyone else. 
And I think sometimes when you do make mistakes, it makes you human and the, make, the person you're speaking to uh, in, enjoys that aspect of it and you can have a laugh together. So I don't think you should worry about the mistakes and just go for it and, and try to speak the, the languages. In terms of the number of languages, uh, I know... Um, I've never liked to put a number on it because I don't think I speak different languages at different levels and so on. Uh, but I'm pretty happy of I'm pretty happy speaking French and Spanish and Italian and uh, Portuguese to a lesser extent, German to a lesser extent, um, Swedish getting there, and some other languages. So I hope that answers your question. I have to share <laughs> this part. Of the particular comment that has made me laugh. Alexander is saying, you and Pierre Benoit are the linguistic equivalent of Morecambe and Wise. Solid gold partnership, by the way. Well, my 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 professional partner, Pierre Benoit, is currently skiing on the slopes of Sestriere in, in Italy. Um, he's got a week off this week and he's actually running a, a, a ski trip with his school. Um, so we wish him all the best. Maybe he'll send us a photo that we can, we can share um, of him on the slopes. But thank you, Alexander, for that comment. Um, just a, a couple more comments coming in just as we're finishing. So Gabriella is asking when is CB English available? Um, so the first episode goes out on the 3rd of March for CB English. Um, and that's for Spanish speakers. We are working on another project for intermediate English speakers. And that will be coming later in the year. Um, uh, Saravanan is saying, will there be a Coffee Break German magazine in season two? Yes, there will. Later in the year, um, we are working on that too. Okay, I think that's it. I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone for joining us today, for all your comments. It's always wonderful to have lots of comments on, on these live uh, shows. We are not going to be doing uh, a weekly catch-up. Basically, because there's so much happening, we have got lots and lots of recording to get done. Um, so we're not doing a weekly catch-up, but we're going to aim for a monthly catch-up. And uh, we hope that you can join us for uh, that, that monthly catch-up. Now, all the information that you, uh, that you have heard on this, the best way to get access to that regularly is by subscribing to our newsletter. So I'm just putting that back up here. Subscribe to our newsletter, radiolingua.com slash newsletter. All you'll get when you subscribe to that is our weekly catch-up newsletter. It's not like we're going to start emailing you thousands and thousands of emails. Absolutely not. We'll send you our email on Friday, which will include all the links for uh, the latest episodes, the latest videos, and our cultural links as well, which will give you the chance to do some reading practice. And uh, I think that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you for joining us. Thank you to the team behind the scenes. Um, I'm not going to have to go and say sorry for putting the wrong graphic up earlier. But I really hope that you enjoy everything that we're doing and everything that we've got planned. Um, and enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Or I've just seen one comment coming in here from Geraldine um, from Melbourne, Australia. It's 3 a.m. I hope you get back to sleep, Geraldine. That's it for today. Uh, once again, thank you to everyone. And we will be back again soon with another catch up. And we'll be back again soon, very soon, with all our new content. And don't forget to check out the, the Piemonte video tomorrow with Francesca. Grazie mille. Ciao a tutti.